Hello and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we learned about what exactly DSC, that's a desired state configuration and how that works. As we have seen a simple PowerShell script that will actually compile in the backend or in a DSC server, a pull server will be there. So that's where it's gonna compile and it converts into MOF, that's a MOF file we call it. And that MOF file configuration will be enforced to the virtual machines to find that specific desired state configuration. If the configuration is not found, we can set a, uh, settings to uh, completely uh, configure, not just the monitoring mode, we can say that autocorrect automatically. And also we can overwrite any kind of you know, other modules. And then if really needed that configuration to be completed with a reboot, we would actually force them to reboot also. So this is what we have actually um, configured or we can configure with the desired state configuration management. And also post to the configuration, we can actually keep on configuring uh, to the monitoring so that the state should be always the same state let's say if the state changes it again gonna apply the configuration and it's gonna auto correct it so that you always be complaint state so that's that's how you're gonna actually uh, configure and and get a desired state of your configurations for your resources now now we are talking about how to apply this desired state configuration. So as I said, there are a couple of ways. The first one would be the, you can straightforward go to your extensions and from here you can actually apply a DSC configuration uh, directly. So this is where you are actually applying by going here from the extensions, just like any other extension, you can actually use the PowerShell Desired State Configuration extension. And um, other extensions also can be installed if really wanted, for example, malware and a malware, or maybe HP specific, or maybe some other antivirus. If you are looking, you can go in that way and you can get it installed the other extensions but for now we are going to cover it within this lecture about the dsc configuration in case if that extension gets failed or not able to provision properly you would be actually getting like this as a failed status and later on if you want you can go ahead and uninstall that specific configuration so this is the first part or the first option that you have that you can directly use extensions to configure it but as we do day-to-day -day operations within Microsoft Azure Cloud, we actually work most of the time with the operations blade. Within this settings, you have your configuration management. So this is where actually you're gonna enable. This is the first option. So when I say first option, you can actually enable here directly the desired configuration, which has a pre-requirements of log analytics services that needs to be enabled and also definitely log analytics workspace uh, with the region should be enabled and followed by you have to actually choose the automation account because that's the key here uh, for the automation account and that would actually go ahead and execute all these scripts to get a proper output for you so you would be actually working here in automation account so this is the first uh, or the second option of what we can uh, enable it but let's see you know the settings as we talked earlier these settings remain same like refreshing interval from the pull server and the configuration mode frequency to validate and are you going to just monitor or just applying settings or you're going to auto correct even the settings so these things so the major difference between apply and monitor you are going to applying and also monitoring for any kind of configuration changes let's say you when you apply it the computer name might be as per your standard but at a later point it has changed so you can simply monitor how many times that's actually not following your standard and coming back to the apply uh, you just apply but you don't monitor that so you, uh, the settings uh, we think that or we assume that the settings will be remains the same state all the time and coming back to the apply and auto correct it's going to apply even it's going to automatically correct the settings 
and if really needed you can override you can do the reboot and also post to the reboot also you can monitor so these are the settings that you can do it so as we talked the first option directly you can enable from the extensions so either you do it from the uh, uh, operations uh, settings here or from automation account it's one and the same the reason being it needs the pre requirement of few things like log analytics services and automation account so in the next step what we're going to do is uh, we are going to actually work with the automation account so what we do is we actually search here and we create the automation account like we have here two accounts for dsc specific so any of this account if i take it example here i can go to the state configuration here and configure the required uh, settings for those uh, machines or th those nodes all together by composing i can do my own configuration compile all that so this is the idea what we are trying to do it so the first demo what we do is we would actually cover with the virtual machine add-on uh, directly from the extensions uh, here so once you add it actually extension it will be actually showing you like this as a provisioned successfully and the next step we are going to work with the next video altogether we are going to work from the operations and the configuration management and from here you can check whether how many of the configurations are applied and their reporting status let's say if it is consistent that's fine if it is not consistent it's going to tell that hey this machine is not consistent all that configuration we're going to do it we have not yet jumped into the configuration of this part the next two videos we are going to cover on these topics um, because you can do it in a multiple ways and we would start with the virtual machine extensions followed by a directly from the automation account or we can also do one and the same uh, within the same video uh, directly doing from the here which is the configuration management directly from the virtual machine so we're gonna work on those things so let's uh, catch on that lecture until then thank you very much we'll catch you in the next lecture